When we replace bioidentical hormones, and I see that people don't seem to be tolerating the hormones well for one reason or another, the first thing that I suspect is low adrenal glands. The adrenal glands are the most necessary hormone in the body. It's the only hormone that we actually cannot live without. So when we have burned out adrenal glands and low cortisol levels, everything else sort of follows suit to the adrenal glands. So by replacing bioidentical hormones, if I find that the person doesn't seem to be tolerating their hormones well, I have to support the adrenal glands. Generally, I would like to test the adrenal function first and assess how bad the situation is. And then we try to support both adrenally with adrenal cortisol hormone replacement, DHEA hormone replacement, and then the sex hormones. But many times we even have to back off a little bit on the bioidentical hormones because that can actually exacerbate the low quality of the cortisol levels. It's like a symphony orchestra when one of the uh, uh, music, musical instruments isn't working very well. Say there's a very poor piano player or a very weak violin section. That symphony orchestra is not going to sound very well. And the fundamental basis of that orchestra usually are the adrenal glands and the cortisol.